it's Tina. Welcome to Saturday Morning Makes with your girl Jill Norwood here on the YT over on Instagram. All right, my makes this week, you all, really are about the backgrounds, okay? So earlier in the week, I decided that I wanted to get inky. I wanted to play with some inks, get my fingers all inked up and just have some fun. Great, great stress reliever. So I took some inks, some dilution ink sprays, some recollection sprays, some Heidi Swap sprays, some of my, um, what do you call it? Glimmer Mist sprays. I just took a bunch of my sprays, some of my Tim Holtz sprays, took a bunch of sprays, and I just sprayed up a few sheets of paper to make backgrounds. Here's one. No rhyme, no reason. I just sprayed. Okay. Here's another one. This one, I use multiple colors. The first one, I use all blues. Various colors of blues. This one, I use blue. I use green. I use some pink. I use some red. I use some gold shimmer, silver shimmer. Love the way it turned out. <clears throat> okay. And then here's another one where I used all pinks, all, I'm sorry, all purples and blues. Silver, glimmer. Yeah. All right, so these right now do not look like anything, right? But once you continue to build, it makes beautiful backgrounds. So this is just the first layer of the background. The second thing I would do is I would go with in with a second layer. My second layer would be stamping. I would just use different stamps and stamp randomly all over these uh, background layers of paint, right? And then I would let it dry, and that's how you form a background. All right, so let me just show you. This is some remnants left from one of the sheets that I did. I use red tones, orange tones, and yellow tones on this paper. Sprayed and sprayed and sprayed. Then I went in, as you can see, some little script right there. I went in with some black, a black script stamp. Here it is again. I went in with some white splatter. And then I went in all over the stamp. And I did some heat embossing with a received stamp that I have in my stash. So this is how you build a mixed media background. Okay. I built it from a one eight and a half by 11 white sheet of cardstock, and I layered the first layer with spray paints. Then I went in, I used stamps, stamped all over the sheet randomly, and wow, you have a background sheet, right? So then after I did that, you all, I went in and die cut and began to make some tags. So let me show you this set of tags. Oh my goodness, what do you think? Love, love, love how they came out. Really small, really nice, but a nice, nice punch, right? These are adorable, okay? Really cute. I decided to use... This blue. Now, the other sheet of blue is a darker 
sheet of blue. I used like the dark shades of blue that I had. On this sheet of paper, I used basically the light shades of blue sprays that I had. Oops, sorry. Okay. I really love, love. And then I went in, you all, for my second layer. I went in with a script stamp from Recollections. And I'm going to show you that. This is the stamp that I went in. And I stamped this all over the sheet randomly with black archival ink. This is a Recollections wood mount music stamp that I took off the block. Okay. Went in. And on here, I'm going to bring it up close. You can see the stamp, the music note stamp. So I just stamped that randomly throughout the sheet of paper. Okay. All right. And so then I went in and I used a receive stamp. And for some reason, I don't know what I did with that stamp to show you all, but it's a old, old stamp. It's a Tim Holt stamp. Oh, here it is. Sorry. Ah, I spoke too soon. Here it is. I use this stamp right here. Okay. And this is from, this is a Stamper's Anonymous. Tim Ho set, and this is the name of it. Okay, so that's the step that I used. Right, and so I just and I stamped that in, um, in embossing ink, and then I used some of that. Martha Stewart uh, Fire Red Embossing Powder. I like the way it came out. Okay. All right. So, for the snowman, again, I used those cuts that I made from this Elite Cottage Cuts Die Snowman Tag. This is what I used. Remember a while back, those of you that follow me, I had stamped, uh, not stamped, but cut out a an abundance of these snowmen. Snowmen. So that's the die that I use for that. I really, 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 really like um, that size snowman. It's not too small and it's not too big. It's a really nice size. Now, let's talk about the hats of the snowman. So I used the entire snowman. All I did was cut off the little whole part for it to from it to be a tag at the top. Um let me see. All right. So you see here the die cuts and you got a hole that cuts in it that you could put your string through. So I just cut that piece off. And then, you all, I went in with this Martha Stewart glitter marker. This is an old product from Martha Stewart. And I love this. This is the silver one. These things are so nice. I bought these like seven years ago. And the ink is still flowing. Nice, smooth, no hiccups. I really, really like this product. I, I like all of Martha's products. I haven't tried a Martha Stewart product that I that I didn't like. So this is what I used. So I took this silver marker and I just colored the hats with the silver marker. And I really love the way that that turned out. Okay. Now. For the base of this tag, the shape of the tag, I went in and pulled out a very old set of dies. These dies are from um, Fun Stamper's Journey. 
I used to be a consultant with them. Really liked their products. All of their dyes were uh, lime green. So this is a dye set, and this dye set came, I'm not joking you all, I think this dye set had 14 dyes in it. Because it was um it was a die set that had all of the different sizes. So I pulled out two of these sizes, and this is what I cut my tags out with. Now, the interesting thing about these dies were you had one die that was the cut die. So you cut the shape out with this. But if you want the piercing look right you would take this die because this is just a piercing die and you lay it inside of the cutting die and die cut them all together and you come out with your tags looking like this okay so this is an old old set i know fun stamper's journey is still around um if I'm not mistaken, they are being ran by spell binders now. You might be able to find this set. I'll go and look because I still have the packaging for the set. And I didn't think to pull the packaging out. Because my dies are inside of a little iris container. Okay. It's where I store the dies. So I'll try to go back. Look for the packaging to get the name of these dies and try to link it in my description box, okay? But these are the dies that I use. I love this shape. Really, really nice shape. All right, let me show you my last set. Now, these are all about the gingerbread. Too, too cute. And this is the paper that I told you I use my red tones, greens, golds, sprays on. Oh, just, just, just lovely. Now, as you can see, this is two variations. This is a cool tone, wintry chill, and this is a warm tone gingerbread i love the the variety this one i think is my favorite of the makes for the backgrounds i use the same technique i went in with the script stamp and i went in with the receive stamp and i heat embossed it with white heat embossing powder okay and then here it is one more. These were some really, really nice quick makes. Like the biggest thing was doing my inking for the backgrounds. Now let's talk about our gingerbread. I used this gingerbread set from my creative time. You all that rock with me, I'm sure everybody has seen these girl and boy ginger dyes by Emma, my creative time. I used the dyes for the gingers. I used the bow. And I also used this envelope dye. And that's what you see here. You see the envelope dye, the bow, and the gingers. Now, I had already cut these gingers out. Remember, I made a plethora of them a few weeks ago, so they were ready on hand. Okay. Now, for the hearts on the envelopes, I use this 2019 Gingerbread Stamp It Up Punch. And here's the heart right here. So just remember, you can incorporate different products to make one make right several things to make the one make now you already know 
for my faces on the gingerbread and on the snowman. I use this Peachy King Jill's Favorites. I'm finding that this is a great go-to for whatever size that you're going to be stamping. Okay. That's what I did. I want to go back to this snowman because I did use this tumble glass oldie but goodie distress ink and lightly powdered the snowman all around its edges and the envelopes really really lightly and it just knocks off all of the crisp white and it just brought the um, snowman to life so even though we're using a white snowman you can dust it with another color to kind of offset it. All right, you all. So these are my makes for this Saturday. I had fun making them. Like I said, the biggest of my time was laying down the inks. I had so much fun getting inky that day. And if you follow me over on Instagram, I posted a picture of the paper towel after cleaning up all of that ink i paste posted a picture of my hands and the towel just so beautiful so you can go over to instagram and check that out i have fun with this project and i think that these little gingers and these snowmen they worked out really well um for this project all right. So happy Saturday morning makes everybody. I hope you all had a blessed week. And um, yeah, stay blessed. Keep creating. And um, we all thank Jill for inspiring us and inviting us to come and play with her every Saturday morning. If you would like to see all of the makes <coughs> from everyone that's going to participate today, you could put in the search engine hashtag SatMornMakes here on the YT and over on Instagram, and all of the makes will pop up. I encourage you, if you don't have anything planned and you want to get a little creative, come on out and join us on Saturday mornings. Had a rough week this week, you all, but I made it through. By the goodness of God, I made it through. I look to see you on the next video. Keep praying for me. I'm definitely praying for you. Continue to stay blessed and keep creating. Till next time. Love you.